Hello and welcome to Daily News Analysis by Opit Siksha. Today is 38th of May 2023. And this is the list of news that we'll be going through today. The first is today's important day, that is Goa Statehood Day. So every year on 38th of May, Goa celebrates its statehood. Now this is the 36th anniversary. This advert, I took it from the Assam Tribune, it was at the back page. So this is an advertisement celebrating Goa's statehood day. Then, if we go a little bit of history into Goa's statehood, Goa was under Portuguese rule before 1961. And in 1961, Indian government launched Operation Vijay and it annexed Daman and Diu Islands and Goa. So, this day was on 19th December. Okay. And 19 December every year is celebrated as Goa Liberation Day, the day when Portuguese army surrendered in front of Indian army and Indian government took control of Goa. Then on 30th of May 1987, the territory, Daman and Diu and Goa were together as Indian territory. So it was split and Goa was formed. So 38th of May 1987, so 36 years from then. Goa's capital is Panaji or Panjim and official language is Konkani. Konkani is one of the scheduled languages officially in the constitution. Then this news from the Hindu newspaper, this says UN peacekeeping mission, India to train women from ASEAN countries. Now there will be tailor-made courses to be offered to two candidates from each of the member states. Okay, and the exercise is such that in all 20 peacekeepers, two from each country would be trained, and this will train women officers from ASEAN countries. What are the ASEAN countries? I'll give two, three. You can comment down below if you know the answer or you look through your notes. ASEAN countries are towards the Southeast Asia. So Thailand, Myanmar is are two of them. So India has contributed 2.75 lakhs of people in, in peacekeeping missions so far. And 159 Indian army soldiers have lost their lives across the globe so far, okay? So India is a major contributor to UN peacekeeping mission. From Ministry of Home Affairs, Khir Bhawani Mela 2023 was celebrated with great fervor and enthusiasm by Kashmiri Pandits and the locals of Kashmir Valley. Now Khir, Khir Bhawani Mela is celebrated every year on the day of Jayasht Astami. And it is mainly celebrated by the Kashmiri Pandits who visit Mata Ragnaya Devi Temple, also known as Khir Bhavani Temple. So, on this occasion, around 18,000 Kashmiri Pandits and devotees visited the temple. And it is considered, Mata Khir Bhavani is considered to be the deity of Kashmiri Pandits who have a lot of recognition. From the Assam Tribune, 59 Northeast stations to get world-class facilities as mentioned on the occasion of the first Bande Vaharat Express uh, launch or flagging off in Guwahati. So this, is, this has been given by the Minister of Railways and Communications. So 59 Northeast stations to have world-class facilities plus there will be rail connectivity to Mizoram by the end of 2024. The only northeastern state so far which does not have a railway connection. He also mentioned about expediting electrification work in the region. And the electrification work, the mission, normally it was in Prayagraj. Now it has been shifted to Guwahati Prayagraj where it is in UP, Uttar Pradesh. Also there are talks to connect Shillong with rail network. Meghalaya has railway connection but not towards the Khasi Hills, it's towards the Garo Hills.
So the fund for developing railway infrastructure in the region has increased to 10,200 crore in the, in the last nine years. And 1,618 kilometer long railway network has already been set up in the region. So more to come in the future. Important news on the other side from the Hindu newspaper is the ISRO's, ISRO's launch of navigation satellite called NVS NVS01. Now it was launched through the GSLV GSLV F12. Now ISRO had been meaning to launch this uh, navigation satellite into the orbit um, but it had a debacle debacle means it had a mis mistiming or there was an issue with the f10 mission so f12 this is the f12 gslv rocket has been successfully launched now f12 is gslv f12 is the 15th flight of the GSLV, India's GSLV, that is Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, and it is the ninth flight with the indigenous cryo stage. Okay, and this is the sixth operational flight of GSLV with an indigenous cryogenic stage. Now, NVS is a navigation satellite which carries a payload of 1.1, 1.5, and S bands, and Interestingly, it had an indigenous atomic clock. What is it? Indigenous atomic clock. For the first time, it was put in the NVS-01. Now, what are the plans of ISRO's in the future? ISRO is also planning to launch the INSAT-3DS, that is a all-weather satellite. And it is also working to design a new rocket that can carry higher luggage or higher weight and upgrading the LVM3 rocket to lift to 5.5 ton from the current 4 ton capacity. Okay. Now this news, mathematical structure of quantum theory, it's a little technical for a layman, like for us. Even for me, it is a little difficult because I'm not from the mathematical or physics background. But nevertheless, if you have seen the comedy series, The Big Bang Theory, the characters in the series, they debate, they keep on debating on a particular theory that is the quantum theory. They also try to, you know, give their own representation of the quantum theory, which was actually observed or demonstrated by Max Planck through physical experiments. Now this theory has also put forward ideas of scientists like Albert Einstein, Neil Bohr, Louis de Broglie, Erwin Schrödinger, Paul M. Dirac, who advanced Planck's theory to quantum mechanics, which is the most accurate mathematical theory of the microscopic world. Now quantum mechanics or quantum mechanics is a theory that describes physical phenomena in microscopic world okay now the scientists from sn bose national center for basic sciences kolkata which is an autonomous institute under dst or department of science and technology they established an intriguing result with the endeavor of dr manik banik and his group and with the help of a novel information principle called the principle of information casualty, they have been able to describe the quantum systems through mathematical structure. So on the other side, this is the structure developed by Dr. Manik. Okay. So what is the what is the benefit or what is the uh, significant point of this research it is that though a lot of scientists have put different various theories like Albert Einstein's theory of relativity like you know the information casualty 
now plays a crucial role in selecting the quantum composition right and this makes information casualty principle or information principle champion over other principles in deriving the mathematical structure of quantum mechanics so this brings more justification and more reasoning towards the mathematical structure of quantum theory right so this theory is championing over other principles or theories set by other scientists right so that is the significance for a layman like you and me who are not really from the core science background we may find it a little difficult topic when it comes in our examination we may find it a little difficult to understand the logic but here i have underlined all the information points so just focus on that you don't have to deep go down to the theory of information casualty etc if you want to do that you can do that on your other time but for our examination point of view we just have to understand the significance of this discovery all right and finally indian women volleyball team they have beat kazakhstan and they have attained the goal or won the goal at the central asian volleyball associations volleyball challenge cup for women that was going on in kathmandu now this team was led by nirmal tanwar all right so with this we come to the end of today's news analysis do join our telegram channel for all the courses updates and all the pdfs files materials on our telegram channel you'll find it plus we have our crash course going on on our youtube channel that is for all aspirants who want to enhance their preparations and alongside we also have our study circle that happens early in the morning from 7 a.m to 9 a.m that is for serious candidates who want to have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with our faculty and to develop their personality plus get tips to prepare better for their examinations so with this thank you for joining this session we'll see you soon